Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan64 here, and it, before I end up doing my review to Star Trek Nemesis, I'm gonna this video might not be uploaded today, but we'll see. The internet is currently acting up, so we'll see if I'll be able to upload this move this review tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna I decide I'm gonna record it for now. So yeah, it's now time for me to do a movie review to Star Trek Nemesis, and please ignore the noise in the background. That's just a car in the background. And this is not going to be a rant on this movie, even though this movie, I have to admit, is the weakest of the Star Trek Next Generation movies. It is definitely the weakest of the series, and it's. I think it would have been better if it had a different... if it was directed by Jonathan Frakes. He did such a good job directing First Contact and, and, I'll, and, and, and Insurrection, excuse me. But this one was... It's not a great movie. It's good, but not great. It's not a terrible movie like other people say it is but i will say this movie is definitely the weakest in the series in the star trek series as a whole but i don't think this movie's terrible i feel that i don't and i don't think that star trek the final front five the final frontier is a terrible movie but i thought this one was my least it, the final frontier is my second to least favorite in the series but this one is by far my least favorite in the series probably the number one least favorite but I still enjoy this movie. There is still fun to be had. And I will admit that this is def this is not a great movie. It's the weakest of the Star Trek franchise as a whole. But I really enjoyed... Th I still enjoyed this movie. It's yet I can still have a good time with it. But I thought the villain was just... The concept about... About Patrick Stewart's character facing a... Uh, an evil clone of his. I just thought... I, I think they should have had a better villain. And fun fact, Tom Hardy is actually in this movie, but I barely even noticed that Tom Hardy was in this movie. I was just watching the movie. This movie actually has Tom Hardy. I, I, I don't know if, an, an, if, an, if another YouTuber mentioned it, but Tom Hardy is indeed in this movie. I think this was his first movie. This movie is definitely the weakest of the Star Trek movies. I will get I do have to get the VHS and DVD of this one. So yeah, and I forgot to mention when I talked about Star Trek Insurrection, I used to have the VHS of Star Trek Insurrection that had a blue tape, but I got rid of it for no reason. I actually might have lost it. I do hope to get Star Trek Nemesis on VHS and DVD. But probably my ranking of the Star Trek The Next Generation movies goes Star Trek First Contact, then Star Trek Generations, then Star Trek Insurrection, and then Star Trek Nemesis. I thought they, the, the, being, the villain being... A clone of Patrick Stewart's character. I just didn't like that in this movie, to be honest. But this movie is still a really good sequel. But definitely the weakest of the entire series. So yeah, I'm gonna give the movie... I'm gonna give the movie... Uh, Star Trek Nemesis a, a 7 out of 10 stars. And I'm gonna give it a C. A C minus. This is not a terrible movie, like I said. But it's not the best in the series by by any means. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to give Star Trek Nemesis a, uh, a 7 out of 10 stars and a C-. And I, so that means I've reviewed pretty much all the Star Trek movies except for the 2009 reboot from J.J. Abrams and Star Trek. And it, so now I need to review the 2009 reboot of Star Trek, then Star Trek Into Darkness, and then Star Trek Beyond. And then I've reviewed all of the Star Trek movies. It will take me a while to review Star Trek Into Darkness. I used to have that one on DVD, but I got rid of it for no reason. I don't have Star Trek Beyond yet. I hope to get that one. So I'm probably going to review the 2009 reboot one of these days. I do have it on DVD, which is right here. So yeah. That is it for my review to Star Trek Nemesis, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus, it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Adios.